paper snob. This is Tara. Today I am working on 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life series number 12. This is day 10, so it is June 10th, and we have a lovely sketch designed by Laura Moss. I love this sketch. You could interpret this in so many different ways. Um, I'm going to be creating my own striped background with some washi tape because like many of us I have a ton of it and I do need to use it up so I have a piece of scrap white cardstock here that I'm going to trim down and I'm going to cover it with the washi I have my title from Vicki Booten's Where Are We Now collection that um, this entire um, set of product that I'm using is from my June counterfeit kit I am determined that I'm going to use it all, all of it, this month. I want to use something from every set of embellishments that I've put into the kit, and the goal is to wipe the paper out completely. So I am going to stop the video, I'm going to speed it up, and I'm going to get to adhering some washi tape to this white cardstock. I'll be right back. So I did go ahead and trim that white cardstock down just a, a little bit to make it look a little more rectangular. Now you'll notice that my blue washi is actually not washi, it's fabric tape, and I have to take the backing off of it every time I use it, but it is something else in my stash that I wanna get used up. I'm not real crazy about fabric tape, at least not that one. I like the looks of it, I just think it's a pain in the neck to use. So before I get really into putting this layout together, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I did off camera. You saw me do a real quick run through of putting the washi tape onto that white cardstock. After that, I glued it to this background paper and then I hand stitched all of these lines to give it a little bit of texture and visual interest. And now I'm going to talk about the bingo card. Now we're doing this bingo card just for fun. I've mentioned several times that I am going for a total blackout. So I am not trying to get a line to call bingo. There's no prizes for this. It's literally just for fun and to kind of help us, you know, search in our stash a little bit. So for day nine um, layout, I crossed off florals. And for this one, I'm not really sure what I'm going to cross off. I could do a single photo because I am only putting one photo. I could do chipboard. Definitely could do that. Um, I don't think I'm putting stickers on here. So, but I could also do flare, which is on here somewhere. I see it. So, yeah, right here, flare. So, I could also do flare. So, I have three choices that I could come up with, and I could cross off all of them if I wanted. But as I've already mentioned in previous videos, I'm just going for a square a day. So, I'll just cross off one of those three, and that's all I have And until we start building this layout. I'll be right back. So I really feel like this layout goes together relatively quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this photo of my granddaughter with her mama on to the background that I've already created. I matted that photo on a scrap of red cardstock. I'm gonna add that chipboard label and the chipboard title. I have already written my journaling on the chipboard label. I thought I might use that green arrow for a subtitle. Um, I end up not doing that. So I'm going to lay out this flare on here because I definitely want to put some flare. And now I'm going to dig through this package of fussy cut flowers. This, um, this was a pattern paper from Fifth and Monaco. I had it in my June counterfeit kit for the sole purpose of creating floral embellishments because I didn't put any or many into the kit. 
on their own. I have some in a couple of the sticker sheets, but no actual floral ephemera, and the original kit had floral ephemera. So I am just kind of making sure that I create a, a couple of really nice, easy cluster bases. All right, off camera, I glued everything down. I added some fun foam behind a couple pieces. I had to add some foam back here because this is an older flare button and it doesn't have a flat back. I actually had to cut out the pen with a pair of pliers and then I added a glue dot behind this one. I'm also going to add a couple hearts from this sticker sheet. Sorry for that loud noise. Um, I'm going to do here and I think I want this yellow one like right here and maybe a green one over on this side. Now I had already journaled onto this chipboard label off camera so that was done before I started recording and let's see what else oh bingo card so I named off three things that I could mark off but what I didn't mark, didn't remember that I could mark off was fussy cutting. And those flowers were fussy cut from a piece of pattern paper. That is from Pebbles Fifth and Monaco. Um, it's actually one of the only sheets of pattern paper I like in that paper pad. And so I just fussy cut them to have floral embellishments for my counterfeit kit for the month of June. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. If you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe. Just subscribe below and make sure that you check out the description box below for the information for, about the person who created this exclusive sketch as well as that monthly collaborative playlist that we have for this series. You have a great day. Bye.